Hello Internet, my name is Ace and today I'm going to be showing you how to install brushes in Manga Studio. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is make sure we have some custom brushes already downloaded. Um, you can get them on the internet, you can buy them, you can get them free, just Google them. So I'm going to be installing some effects brushes today, but it's exactly the same whether you're installing pens, pencils, anything. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that the subtool window is open. By default, it's on. Uh, I've just taken it off just, just to show you in the video. So you just go to the window at the top, make sure there's a tick next to subtool. And it'll bring this up. Again, I'm on the pen tool now. It'll change depending which tool you're on. So what we want to do is... Um, I'm going to be installing some effects brushes, uh, decoration I think they're called, within Manga Studio. But again, if you wanted to do pencils, pens, anything, it's exactly the same process. So what I like to do just to make it a little bit simpler is find um, a brush section like this that is... There's a bit of gap at the bottom. It really doesn't matter. You could do it on a full one like this and just scroll to the bottom. It makes no difference. So... We want to find our brushes. Okay, so I've got these here. Again, it's the Friend and Super Set. You should check them out. There's some incredible inkers in there. Uh, just great ink, ink pens. So we're going to be installing the effects ones now. So what I like to do is drag in a just one. Okay, so I like to drag and then hit Command and Tab on the Mac you know, to um, sift through here. I think it's the same on Windows. Or or else you can just hover over, and I think... No, maybe not. Okay, sometimes it selects it, sometimes it doesn't. So um, you just want to drag that into here. So you've got this in the bottom of here, and if you're happy just keeping it in the tab, uh, you could have dragged all of them. But I want to create my own tab for this, so... We just drag it at the top, and you can either put it into one of these, or make sure that there's, um, like, the little red cursor there. And it's it's brought into its own one, and it's called Big Airbrush. So if you right-click it, um, you can click the settings and rename it to anything you want. So I'm going to call it... No, I'm not going to call it Fred. I'm going to call it Frendon. Um, and then you've got its own little subfolder. You've still got these ones. Then... Just go back to Finder and, or again, Win, um, Explorer, whatever it is on the um, Windows. Grab all of these, Command-Tab to go across here, and just all of them in there in one. And they should all go in there. Sometimes it takes a while to load if you've got a lot of brushes. Uh, but now you just click on them and you should be able to yeah, use them perfectly fine. So they've got the straight lines and there's the different tools. So that's it. It's dead simple. So if you like this video, if you want to see more videos, hit subscribe and the like button just to let me know that this is something that you're looking forward to seeing in the future. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.